Welcome to this Windows channel and this is another part in uh, taking a look at the Spring Careers update, what it has changed, what is new. One of them is Windows Defender that has been tweaked once again, you know, they're making improvements to the Windows Defender app and uh, there's a few things that they are changing in there. So when you look at the Windows Defender, the interface has once again been tweaked, changed. You now have this security at a glance panel. Uh, it still has some weird things, you know, for example, like here my account protection says that it, you know, I need to turn on dynamic lock. There are a few little things like that, that, that they're not glitches, but they're like, okay, you didn't think about the fact that if I turn it off, don't tell me it's off. You can, or tell me it's off, but don't tell me there's a problem all the time. You know, it happened in the last version also. They issued some updates and at some point it was fixed. So this is the same thing here. Uh, but, you know, generally they're trying to make things uh, better and easier by looking at what, um, you know, you can, um, all the protection you've got in here. So, of course, there's a panel on the left side here with virus and threat protection, account protection. Uh, kind of, you know, all the information you've got here are available on the left panel also, uh, for sure. Um, one of the notable options also that it changes is the fact that if you go into your settings, you used to have in the security section, Windows Defender. They've changed that and they're calling it now just Windows Security. So this is including, of course, your virus protection, malware protection, um, firewall, network, everything is in the Windows Security app, uh, device performance and health, the device security, um, and of course the family options, all the different options are here to protect you. It technically should be even better at protecting us. They've added um, a certain amount of new security measures in Windows Defender to try to make it easier for everybody to understand what's happening with their own security. Of course, still the possibility to run a scan. Windows Defender is the main uh, product for, you know, antivirus on your Windows 10 machine. Uh, whatever you think about it's good or not, um, I personally find that it's quite enough in Windows 10 to uh, be okay and, st and for you to stay safe. I do not believe in antivirus products in, in general anyways because the security is what you do, not what the antivirus does. And uh, that's why, um, you know, I stress out that if you um, say, oh, well, you know, Defender is no good because I got a virus, you're the one that's being not uh, careful in what you do on your PC. If you'd be careful, if you are, you know, doing the right thing, you're not getting viruses. I don't get any viruses here. And um, it's, you know, a question of understanding um, what you should do or not do on the internet. Apart from that, of course, the same old account protection, all of its different settings that we'll look at much more in detail in separate videos. It, um, of course, you know, has a few little things like now core isolation, uh, that is a possibility to uh, isolate specific cores or, or processes so that they kind of are becoming um, sandbox if you want. That means that if you turn it on, you can actually select different options in the core isolation and the memory integrity stuff. Um, so a lot of this has to do with the fact that they allow a lot more um, options to be fixed. To have this option work, by the way, uh, you need to have specific hardware. So not all machines can have this working. Um, so you see mine doesn't because uh, my computer is older, so it doesn't have the technologies required. But you can now have core isolation, which is something that wasn't there before. Uh, performance and health redesigned a little bit and a lot um, kind of a more detailed outlook. So if you look at the different options, you will have more details of what's happening. Fresh start is still part of your Windows install, but it's kind of weird because fresh start was, you know, something that you could um, use and it sometimes disappeared at some point, sometimes didn't. Um, so basically, um, 
basically, so you see here, it told me that there's incompatibilities with uh, my um, core isolation and all of that. So anyways, uh, Fresh Start is a way that you can remove all the crapware that you know any manufacturer installs on your PC. Uh, family options, of course, so you can uh, protect your kids online by choosing um, where and what you can do. So there's a, a host of you know uh, security in here that happens. Um, also, more control over different apps in their own securities. Uh, before you could you know just look at the security of apps in general, but you can actually now choose apps and mitigate their security and decide what you want to do with each individual app. Apart from that, uh, of course, everything about firewall um, is there. The account protection is still there. Uh, still the possibility to sign in with you know Windows LO and so on. A uh, few other things that are changed in the security is the ability to also secure um, different folders. It's still imperfect um, I you know I we tried to use it a little bit but um, it's it's something that's kind of not I don't know it's not there yet so revamped security revamped uh, kind of um, interface in here and we'll be looking at this more in details in separate videos uh, this review video is more of a just quickly look at what we can do but um, we'll of course have very deta detailed videos explaining each feature after reviews are over. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.